I'm in the water, Coney Island, having some fun, chilling. My mom's is over there with Onyx and Titi Diana and Monkey. Can't see them, but they're, they're right underneath that blue sombria. Nice day, man. Enjoy the summer. Well, right now, me and my monkey, we're taking a little tour over here at Coney Island. I probably haven't been here probably like in 15 years or so, but um, yeah, everything's new. So um, yeah, let's go. Um, this is how it looks. I kind of miss the old Coney Island. I was used to it, but um, we'll, I'll get back to you to see what else cool stuff they have. Okay. This right here is great memories. When I was a kid, my grandmother, my grandfather, my mom, so my, my family, and everybody used to take me to these, this over here, this little place that I always remember, but everything's different now. Um... Everything switched up. I don't like the way it looks. I like the way it was back in the days when they had the, uh, the go kart that says bump, bump, bump your ass off. <laughs> they don't even have that for more. And everything's changed now. It's like, but I still remember this little alley down here that we used to walk to. And all this alley over here, that was, that was great times. But right now, I don't know, man. I don't really like the way this is looking right here. You know? But I'm still going to truck around and see how it looks. All right, I'll get back to you. I noticed that back in the days, all this used to be live. Now, nobody's even going in the rides no more. Look at every ride we pass by, there's nobody on them. Because no, the price is too, too overpriced. Nobody's want to pay like $10, $25 just to get on these rides. But, um, and nobody's playing nothing. It's like, it's all boring now. Yeah, back in the days, everything used to be cheaper. Everybody was coming. If there was a lot of prices, that everybody would be on the rides. But, yeah, sucks. The only thing that's alive is just this, because they need to, this, this needs to be spinned around the Wonder Wheel. It has to spin around. But other than that, like, this is one of my favorite spooky um house little things. Back in them days. <laughs> El Dragon. This is good memories. I'm surprised they even still have this here. And they had like a shooting thing right here too. Yeah, this is great memories. Actually, yeah, it's not the same one. 
But back in the days, there was one all the way in down there. They had a whole shooting thing and a whole bunch of other cool stuff with a big tower that goes all the way up. But now that's not even there no more. But yeah. I enjoy all this right here. This is great memories. At least they didn't take this down. I hope not. I hope they don't take it down. But yeah. Look at I found the gremlin. There's a gremlin right here. A gremlin. <laughs> huh? Please realize our ticket seller did. These last words were. See, this is sick. real perverted, bro. It's real, real perverted. Like, seriously? Come on. It's kids be on this, man. Look at this. That's, that's bad, bro. This world is evil, man. I'm telling you. Everything has to be perverted nowadays. And, yeah, it sucks, man. Get back to you. This is great memories. The Warriors walked through here before. Uh, the movie, The Warriors. And there was my monkey over there, right in the middle. Right over there. I had a dream the other day about this, me walking through here. And I'm actually kind of walking through here now. I love it. But there's a whole bunch of stuff. This is where all the little kitty rides were. When I was a kid, I used to go through. And let me see if I remember. Yeah, the carousel still here. There was this little boat that I used to go to, and like a little jet thing. Uh, look at the jet; it's right here. Oh man, the monster truck is still there. That's still awesome. Oh, I remember this. Oh my God, this right here used to be the bomb, the Wonder Wheel. Yeah, it was awesome. This is like. One of my best rides when I was a child. Yeah, and this too. This used to be my favorite. But, um, yeah. At least this is still the same. My monkey's right over there. I'm lost in here. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying every single moment. Now they got this new little hot air balloon thing. I can't wait for the baby to born. Maybe gets a little bit bigger. I'll put them on all this right here. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, so I'm, I'm heading back to the water for my monkey to get some more time. It's gonna be awesome. I'm still happy that that the parachute's still here. And they took away the rocket. The rocket used to be somewhere around here from back in the days. Yeah. Yeah, Coney Island. The rocket used to be right there where that burger guy is at. Right there. That's where the rocket used to be at. But, yeah. This is freaking sucks now. Everything's like sucks. I like some of the things, but it was sucks. Now, right here where this Nathan thing is at right here now. Before, it used to be with a magic show when I was a child. But, yeah, everything switched. It's like the years is getting more cornier and cornier and more expensive and it's lame now. You know? Back in the 80s and stuff. Yeah. Well, we hang back. At least we're still enjoying the days. She wants to go back in the water. Oh, look at this dude. <laughs> huh? Hey, this is something we're going to enjoy. There you go. <laughs> All right. Only on one.
This is the show I've been looking for, but it's not the same way as it used to be. The world famous Tony Allen Circus Sideshow. I see a lot of you guys thinking of leaving the beach because that sun is going down. Check your guidebooks on the way to that train and they're all going to tell you something different. Don't pass up the opportunity to see the show we're famous for, and it is a doozy. Live on the inside of Waits Up Broadway Caliber Thrill Fest, you can only see right here in the People's Playground. It's the world famous Coney Island Circus Sideshow. We're going to witness every single act of Bubba Behind on the Banners and more. And that and more is joining me right now. It's Justin Weber, oh. the yo yo wizard. But that's not all. This man is an accomplished juggler as well. And you're going to see all his skills on the inside as well. You're going to witness the world's most dangerous sword swallower, Betty Bloomers. You're going to witness the fire eater, Madam Twisto, Madam Electra. They're all here. They're all real. They're all. Alive on the inside, and there's only one place you can see it. Inside our air-conditioned auditorium. It goes to the original stuff that I was talking about since I was a child. This place used to be bumping, and it used to go bump, bump, bump your ass off. And, uh, yeah, back in the days, this used to be alive. But now, it sucks. It's not even hype like the way it used to be like back in the days. And you see, yeah, when I was younger, this place used to be real, real live, but now it's like boring now. Yeah. Right now, we're going home. Monkey. Yes. We had an awesome, great time over there in Coney Island. I haven't been there for a long time. I got, um, I'm making a documentary right now. So you can see, for everybody can see. And this is beautiful here. Where the World Trade Center is at. It's nice. Monkey and the baby. <laughs> the monkey and our and our and our little monkey. We had a good time with my mom's, my brother-in-law, DT Diana, the monkey and the baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the ending of the video. Us, us going home right now. Hope you subscribe, like, give it a comment. And check y'all later.